right, today I'm gonna do a, I got a little bit of leaks up here on the injector areas. It's uh, a little bit of leakage, so. See if I can tighten those up, stop the leak. Maybe I gotta replace some of the hoses, uh, which I already have the kit, because I already replaced one. Uh, the return line pieces. So, yeah, here we go. All right, I had it running for a minute and I got two leakers. Like this is leaking. Where is we right there? You can see it's wet. Um, I'm thinking the o rings inside that black plastic piece are uh, failing me. I got that one right there, so that's the front. And then <clears throat> this one back here um, below my little wastegate thing. Right there. Can't hardly see that. Um, hold on. There we go. That one right there is leaking. So, uh, I might have to replace the hose too. It looks a little wet. But uh, I have the kit because I replaced that one over here. That one in the back there. I replaced that one already. The O-rings for the return line. So, uh, so I got this one. This one right here. And then the front one over here. Front left. Um, the next one, I believe, is okay. Uh, that one might be going too. But I'm gonna do this one and the uh, one underneath my little wastegate thing. So I'm gonna do those two and. Uh, Hopefully changing those O-rings fixes the leak. All right, so you take this off with a, I use a 16. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what that translates to. I think it's a 5 eighths. Anyway, uh, pull it up and kind of bend it out of the way. And then you can just lift this up. this up and off and uh, you can see the o-rings there there's two of them one above the hole and one below the hole uh, replace those with the new ones all right so I used my little screwdriver and uh, I ended up just kind of pushing on it and cutting it to get it off there. You can hear the fairly brittle. But you just slide the new ones on over. Uh, this one, let's get right and get in close. One on the top and one on the bottom. And then you just put the plastic piece back over it feel it fitting a little tighter and then put this back on here and tighten it and then uh, <clears throat> when you go to start it back up after you put it all back together uh, you're gonna have to take a keep an eye on it make sure it's not leaking you might have to tighten this up more tighten this nut up more so uh, I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna do the one in the back over here 
All right, so I got that one done. Got her tightened back up. Uh, boy, that was a pain. Actually, even I scratched my knuckle. Yeah, it's so tight. I was pulling like this, and it would one of those uh, open end open end pieces that uh, sock the uh, ratchet would go on one of those open end pieces that a, a ratchet would go on to would be now I know what they're for to get into places like that but uh, I'm gonna start it up and uh, see if it's leaking Alright, so as you saw, the, uh, the one behind, oh, sorry, the one behind this front one, that one right there is leaking pretty good. I can't get to it. I gotta take this off, disconnect it from the turbo, take the top off, take my air filter out, and probably, I'm thinking that there's bolts that go into the intake in the bottom of this so yeah so I'm gonna open this up uh, it's a couple seven that's a seven sixteenths nut right there um, I think that's the same for that band um, one right there probably take this hose clamp off this hose so yeah they're holding that in so uh, they look like about 9 sixteenths
guess now is as good as time as any to replace these hoses. This hose still has good flex in it. It's not cracking. It's just wet from it leaking out of the plastic piece. So uh, I'm gonna let it roll, dry it off a little bit, soak up all the crap. Let me replace these O-rings and uh, I'm back to work. My daughter's got to use this tomorrow. First one's gonna want to fill in that top hole. Second one, just keep going. Roll it down past the first one, right into the second one. All right. I'm going to start it up without the air cleaner on it so I can make sure this isn't leaking.
I've done half of them. Uh, all these O-rings are real brittle. Some other ones are going to happen soon, I probably. But, um, like I said, I don't want to get in it too far. Uh, my kid's taking this tomorrow for, her, for work, so... If she goes, I think she'll go. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's her day. She has to work tomorrow. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's dark out. I got all my lights going. Uh, <laughs> one of these days I'll get in there and I'll replace all of it. Uh, but for now, I just do it as I see it. Uh, luckily, that was pretty pretty quick get taking this off I never did that before um, it's easier than I thought uh, there's some other things I think I might have to take off uh, to get to like those over there or not I don't know but like I said, she got to take the car tomorrow, truck tomorrow, so nothing else is leaking right now that I can see. Um, fuel pump's still good, not leaking. Air cleaner was nice and white, clean. So, yeah. That's all for, uh, for this oil change. And uh, checking my my fuel injection return line O-rings, checking, changing them out, and that's it.